Hello, Pewter people. Scott Reynolds here with another Pewter Pulse. Are you ready for a battle between two great players? Talking about Mike Evans, Bucks wide receiver and future Hall of Famer. And of course, Saints cornerback Marshawn Lattimore, a multi-year pro bowler. This is a big game on Sunday in New Orleans. Division rivals, a pair of two and one teams. First place in the NFC South is on the line. This is round seven between Mike Evans and Marshawn Lattimore. And I use the fighting analogy because why not? These guys seem to really go at it every year, and especially in New Orleans for some reason. You see, Marcus Lattimore entered the league in 2017 as a first-round pick and has gotten under Mike Evans' skin and sometimes gotten the better of Mike, and there's been some times where Mike's gotten the better of Marshawn. We'll see how this round, round seven, begins between these two opponents. And, of course, Buccaneer fans are hoping their guy wins, Mike Evans. Why not? They need a, a win heading into a bye week. Three and one record certainly beats the alternative, which would be two and two, and being 0 and one in the NFC South. Football fans don't mind a little skirmish as it adds to the excitement of the game. But has Mike Evans learned his lesson and decided to keep his cool this go around? Everybody remembers what happened last year, right? Marshawn Lattimore got in Tom Brady's face. Mike came to his rescue, and then it was on. A big time brawl erupted. Marcus May, who is going to be out this week with a PED suspension, so he won't be involved in any potential fracas. He came to uh, Marshawn Lattimore's aid and, and got into the mix, and a whole brawl broke out. And as a result, Mike Evans was ejected from the game after getting into it with a couple of Saints players. Now, sometimes, you know, pushing and shoving and a little bit of an altercation, well, that can maybe help out a team, kind of like the way. A uh, coach in basketball draws a technical and maybe gets tossed from the game and it fires up the team. Actually, you could point to that moment for the Buccaneers offense. They were mired in a three to three tie in the fourth quarter with the Saints. That's kind of the, the point where the offense kind of came to life. But it came at a real price because Mike Evans was suspended for the next week's game against Green Bay, a game they lost by just two points. And you got to know that if Mike Evans plays, against the Packers that they win that game. And, and then you're looking at a nine and eight record instead of an eight and nine record in Tampa Bay. And maybe even that early win gives them some confidence and momentum and propels them to, to greater heights. Who knows at the end result was a suspended Mike Evans and a loss the next week as a result to green Bay. That can't happen again this year. The reason why Mike Evans is the offense in Tampa. He's got 297 yards. He's caught a touchdown pass in every single game. He's got three of Baker Mayfield's four touchdowns on the year, including one on Monday Night Football and a 25 to 11 loss to the Eagles. So Mike has got to keep his cool and play good football, not let Marshawn Lattimore get under his skin and catch touchdowns. If that happens, I think Tampa Bay has got a pretty good chance of beating the Saints on Sunday and getting to 3-1 and one and taking that early lead in the NFC South, the division that they're trying to three-peat in. Well, somebody has to tell Mike that next week, or I should say the next game, is against the Lions. And if you've seen Mike Evans in press conferences after games, he is a bit of a fashion guy. He likes to wear throwback jerseys. He likes to wear bling. He's got a sense of style about him. And I know Mike Evans wants to desperately play in that creamsicle throwback uniform that the Bucs are going to be having uh, out there on display against the Lions on October 15th at Raymond James Stadium in the throwback game. Mike can't miss that. If you talk to any Buccaneer player, Mike included, they'll tell you, this is the game where there's not going to be a jersey swap afterwards. No, <laughs> this is a game where these players are looking forward to wearing the old Bucko Bruce orange creamsicle uniforms, and they're going to keep the jersey. So, Mike, you got to be around for that. It comes down to this. Has Mike Evans, a 10-year veteran in this league and, and a team captain on the Buccaneers, has he learned his lesson? Just play football. You know Marshawn Lattimore is going to get under your skin. Don't take the bait. Beat Marshawn Lattimore and the Saints like this, catching passes, rather than this this week. And then the Buccaneers certainly might head into the bye week a little happier.
Will, we want you to be a happy Buccaneer fan and a happy Pewter person by giving you guys more Bucks content on Pewter Report TV, like the Pewter Pulse episodes you're watching and, and other great Bucks video content. You can find them on Pewter Report TV. Go ahead and subscribe today. Join the legions of Pewter people. You've got over 12,100 Pewter people subscribing to Pewter Report TV. We want you to be the next one. So just hit the subscribe button and also like and comment on videos. That helps our algorithm with YouTube and gets us in front of more awesome Pewter people like you. Make sure you follow us on social media, X, Facebook, and Instagram at Pewter Report. And of course, visit pewterreport.com for breaking news, injury reports, inside scoop, and game coverage on your favorite team. And I'll be back later with another Pewter Pulse.